This feels like peak. Is this the most relaxing lounge at Disney World? Princess Barry here today. We're at Disney's Riviera Resort, that hotel on the water on the Skyliner, because we're in need of some relaxation. At Bar Riva. Yes, so remember, it's your number one choice of food and infotainment. When there's food to be eaten, we shall show up to eat it. Remember, she's Ooh. vegan. I'm not. I want to take a swim in this river. Time to foodie and chill. You heard the girl. This is the margarita pizza minus the cheese. They do not have vegan cheese here in this area, which is so weird to me. You can order this at Bariva or Primo Piatto. It's just basically fresh basil and tomato on the regular crust, which is vegan. There's also a gluten-free crust, which is cauliflower. Now, I forgot my, I don't know where I put the pocket parm after our Marine Enzo's. I've misplaced it. So I brought the whole thing. Um, thank you, Jen. And I think I'm going to need it since it's a cheeseless pizza with just tomato and basil. So let's go ahead and be really generous with this woman-owned pocket parm. Here we go. Post pocket parm trying this. I probably should have tried it pre-pocket parm, but I didn't. And I also forgot to bring red pepper. That's my bad. I don't even miss the cheese. This is amazing. I love this. This is a 4.75 out of 5 pizzas. Now I think another really good hack would be order the vegetable skewer and this and then put all of the vegetable skewer toppings on top of this pizza and enjoy like this interesting mediterranean with like the sauce yogurt and everything on it that would also be fire i'm probably going to do that next time we come here yeah this is good plant-based pizza riviera party we're gonna do it one or the other pocket parm with the tomato the basil fresh crust they have a like, legit kitchen in Pirambiado. It's not like a, I mean, all the quick servers have legit kitchens, but like they serve in that kitchen like you would at a table service, which makes it a very interesting quick service to visit to begin with. So this, I expect to be high quality pizza, not like gas station theme park pizza. The quality of the ingredients and the quality of the crust, place restaurant style. Addition of the parm, just like you would add table parm to any sort of pizza at any normal pizza or Italian restaurant, it kicks. It kicks well. I would give it a solid four out of five claws. Even without actual cheese or actual vegan cheese, don't actually feel like I'm missing anything. So it's a win. This is the newest addition to the Primo Piano menu for plant based people. It is a veggie wrap. We're seeing veggie wraps and new salads popping up all over Disney World now, and I am so excited for that. I almost feel like I wanna do a salad crawl. Tell me in the comments if you would actually be interested in us going around Disney and trying like, I don't know, maybe four or five salads in a video. Otherwise, I don't know if that's a good idea or not. Cheers. The flavors in that wrap pack a huge punch. I really liked the veggie wrap that we had recently at Sunshine Seasons because it had like cream, uh, like Violife cream in it and red pepper. This doesn't have any of that. It just has a lot of like more, a lot more ingredients. It's got like quinoa in it, lettuce, there's like a tapenade in here, um, all kinds of good stuff and it just comes together so well. I'm really into it. More so than I thought. I would very, I would gladly hop off the Skyliner and grab one of these on my way to like Hollywood Studios from Epcot. I would give it a four out of five wraps. It's definitely something I want to wrap myself up in. Something I thought was very interesting about this wrap is they try to sort of switch it up on you, use some variety because it is a vegetable wrap. Kind of it's packed with like all of the veggies. You got lettuce, there's quinoa in there, and there's some olives tomato, cucumber, but there's actually two different style of wraps. One is a spinach wrap, and then this one is tomato. So they're like, let's give them two flavors. Honestly, I think it's a very interesting idea for like a two wrap kind of deal. It's got so much flow built into one thing. I think I'm gonna call it Rapper's Delight. Tasty, moist, but not like over moist. It's a little bit wet 
you keep it up, though, these are normally grabbing your items, so like they may have sat for a while, but like if you can get like a fresh one, like, this thing's firing on all cylinders. You get a little bit of quinoa, but not too much like overpower everything else. The olive, the tomato, the cucumber. It is like a filling vegetable wrap, guilt free. I would give that 4.25 out of 5 claws. This feels like a peak grab and go item. This is given French to me. It's a baguette sandwich with prosciutto, mozzarella, tomato, and a truffle aioli. This is $10.99. I was feeling uh, something else to eat after the tendies, and I honestly could have got a second order of tendies, but I decided to get something different to show the community. So I got this because the grab and go sandwiches here are a step above the rest. It's not just a normal, boring sandwich, it's given on theme. Uh, it may not look like much, but it's a lot of bread and tons of prosciutto and thick pieces of moths. Uh So let's see how good it actually is. I didn't see the truffle aioli, but it's definitely in that bite, which goes well with like that richness of prosciutto and then you have like a soft, delicate mozzarella. Nice and fresh, by the way, not like we've been having sitting in a fridge for months at a time for the mozzarella. It's a good sandwich, especially for like grabbing them with something quick. Worth $11, mm, I don't know, maybe it was like a third of the size bigger, but it tastes good. So if you want one, I think they're safe back. I'd give this 3.75 out of 5 points. I got a mule. I got my normal Uncle Nearest mule. Um, I looked at the non-alcoholic drinks because I really wanted to try one of those, but both of them had honey in them, so I just went with a mule because like a lot of the drinks here have honey. I don't feel like modifying at this present with a drink. The um, well, I guess I put a little mint in here to give it something because I didn't want any pineapple. It's, it's a little wilted, but that's fine. I think that's medium mulicious. It's not a screaming delicious mulicious mule, but it's um, it's medium. I would give it a three out of five mules. If the princess is princess of anything, she's definitely the princess of ginger beer. That is her thing. Not my thing, definitely her thing. But with a little bit of muddled mint, some Uncle Nearest, how bad could it be? No? I think the mint actually sells it for me. It takes out some of that bite you get at the end of ginger beer. That's what I really hate. Like, I love ginger ale, oddly enough, like love. But do not like the taste of ginger beer. But the mint is definitely sort of mellowing things out. This is probably like the best, like, off menu mule that she's gotten in quite a while. I would give this 3.75 out of 5 plus. It's very weird when I get a new drink, how I decide. There's no sort of complicated decision process. I'm not balancing the vibes or the aesthetics of the drink. It's usually just what sparks joy, like Marie Kondo style, but with alcohol. Uh, this is the Almonde Spritz. It is cognac, which gives me vibes of like cruise life with the cruise in the background here, they have on the wall. And then you have uh, a made drum, a uh, Di Serrano liquor, and then honey lemon, which gave me Baymax vibes. That was enough reason right there for me to get the drink. Of course, with the honey, that means honey for the princess. More for me. Mm. Honestly, that tastes like a rum drink that I would get at Tabasco Bistro in all the best ways. That's a strong one. It's sweet and deceptive. Drink slowly. But the vibes of the honey lemon with the rum and then the cognac, perfection. I'd give that 4.75 out of 5 plus. Here goes one of the new items on the menu. <laughs> New-ish. We came here a few months ago and then right after we came here they changed the whole menu on us. Which happens sometimes when you're a foodie, but that's good for us. It means more things to eat and share with you guys. These are their chicken tenders. Now I made a face when I heard about this because it's like Disney chicken tenders at a bar lounge sounds lazy, at least, but these are absolutely smothered. 
They are covered in a chipotle barbecue sauce with a truffle uh, aioli on it and then sprinkled with like the little nuts and everything else. This looks almost like a fine dining dish, but quick service. Which is basically what Bar Riva and Pima Piatto aim for. Her elevated quick service, better than you see at most resorts. I just wish the resort had something more. The resort always seems to be missing something. We're back to the tendies, we're gonna just dive right in here. Got a nice breading on it, a nice color to it. Looks good, cooked well on the inside. Flavor is what matters. Ooh. They really let the, the chipotle from the sauce ring through. So you get a very nice smoky but sweet flavor without going overboard in either direction. So it's not like I eat like can fire. And it's also not like eating chicken candy. Combined with the well seasoned chicken and the truffle um, aioli, which is gives you that earthy taste but like really light. Honestly, it works. I don't think I could fill up on this. But honestly, it's so good, I would probably order a second one. Four and a half out of five plus. I always tell them I really hate something, right? So I hated this. But actually, the spice of this actually didn't creep up. The Chipotle, in the beginning I was like, it's just smoky barbecue, but there actually is a little bit of spice. Cumulative, so it got hotter with every bite. I would say at the end, I'm sitting at like a two and a half, three out of 10 on heat scale. Still manageable, rating doesn't change. What do you think about tenders versus wings? Here's the thing. The thing about tenders versus wings, and I know that's a hot debate. Bone, I'll agree with most people that boneless, boneless wings, like the ones here, versus the wings that they had. Flavor-wise, I think they're about close to the same. Uh, I think the meat on the wings is a little bit better a little better of a cook, but I feel like you're getting just as much food-wise, like amount-wise, if not a little bit more with the tendies than you got with the wings. I definitely feel more full after these than I ever did after the wings, but I will miss the wings. But I might give these a slight edge. Slight. If you've watched a lot of these videos, even some of the videos you haven't seen, and even some of the times you've come here and not filmed, which honestly has been a lot, uh, I usually order the Frosé. That is my one of my bare weaknesses. I'm not gonna pass up a good Frosé. Now our server recommended her version of the Frosé here, which is, uh, what she says it tastes like vacation. It is a Frosé with a Chambord floater. And that's all she had to say to get my attention. She says it is the best drink at any resort lounge. That is high praise. Ooh. This is gonna have your mother cussing out your father in 10 seconds flat. This is vacation ready. A couple of these by the pool. I wouldn't need a float. I would just be floating on the pool. That is a 4.75 out of 5 plus. Best year on property, I'm not sure, but it's definitely a contender. I know what I'm ordering when I come here from now on. Primo, Priata, and Bariva proving that they are just that good. I think anything that you eat at Disney's Riviera Resort is going to be tasty. It's just a matter of are you willing to pay the inflated price point? or stay in this super tiny hotel for an inflated price point. Yeah, I feel like Riviera sits in a very odd area in the Disney Resort area, so I need to know what you guys think about the food options and staying here in the comments below. Now, of course, if there's anything else you can see us do, that will also be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video, and if you don't comment, Bear might just summon the rain every day of the summer. We like the rains down Disney World. You heard the girl. <laughs>